Hi there, I'm Monica from ReFactory and today I'm going to show you how to do the smart ICP test. Smart ICP is a lab test that allows us to very accurately determine the concentrations of micro and macronutrients as well as contaminants in seawater. Based on the results, we're able to effectively eliminate contaminants and accurately supplement the missing elements, providing our marine animals with perfect conditions in the aquarium. Let's start by unboxing. The Smart ICP box includes the instruction manual, two test tubes, a tissue for drying the test tubes, two stickers with a QR code, an envelope, shipping labels, and yes, gummy bears. That's essential. In order to do this, unscrew the test tubes without touching the inside of the cap, remember. Rinse each test tube three times with aquarium water before filling it. Fill both test tubes with water and then close them tightly. Now, dry both of these tubes with the included wipes, and then stick the QR code onto each one. And now, open the Smart Reef app or go to reefactory.com and log in. If you haven't got the app, download it, register, and create your aquarium. In the ICP section of your aquarium, enter the string of characters that's under the QR code and press submit. Bravo, your sample has been registered. Now, complete your address information on the label and put it on the envelope. Make sure both test tubes are closed tightly and put them in the envelope. Then mail it to the refactory lab and soon your test results will appear in the ICP section. When your samples arrive at the lab and the analysis begins, we will send a notification to your app. When the results are ready, they're sent straight to the ICP tab in your Smart Reef app or you can also check them by logging in at reefactory.com. There, we can access the ICP test results presented on a clear scale. The measurements are categorized into three tabs. The All tab, where you can find all parameters along with the results. The Dosing tab, where we can find micro and macro elements with their concentrations, which require additional supplementation. Under each of the elements, there are Recommendations, where we can find information of what exactly a certain deficiency might cause and how many doses of which elements should be supplemented so that the parameter is in the optimal range. A description of an element and information on what it is and what it is responsible for. And measurement logs to facilitate tracking of the changes. The Issues tab, where we'll find micro and macro elements with excessive values of impurities. Recommendations, where you can find information of what the risk of excessive levels of a particular element is, the most common causes and sources, and recommendations on what to do to bring the parameter back to a correct level. A description of an element with information on what it is and what it's responsible for, and measurement logs to facilitate tracking of the changes. And that's it as for the SMART ICP test. If you have any further questions, please contact our support team via email or by going to the support tab at refactory.com. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos, and join our ReFactory family community on Facebook. See you there!